right, you are welcome again. We are still treating the composition of partial fraction. Okay, let's take this question. Decompose into partial fraction 9x squared minus 3x plus 8 all over s cubed plus 2x. Okay, now let's go. But before we continue, please, if you are new to our channel or you have not subscribed, please do us a favor and click on the subscribe button now and also remember to click on the bell icon to turn on the notification okay subscription is free please just subscribe now let's go we have 9s squared minus 3s plus 8 all over s cubed plus 2x in this place there is something we can still do about our denominator please let's factor rise our denominator let's factor out x so we're going to have something like this 9 s squared minus 3 x plus 8 all over we're going to factor x in s cube we're going to have s squared remaining then when you factor out x in 2 s we're going to have 2 remaining so we're going to write it this way we're going to have x upper bracket s squared plus 2 okay good now in splitting them we're going to write it this way the factors we're going to write we're going to have a all over x plus because of this s squared plus 2 it cannot be factorized any further and then because of this s we're going to have bx plus c we're going to have what bx plus c all over s squared plus 2 all right now let's go we're going to multiply through by x open bracket s squared plus 2 we're going to multiply the left hand side and the right hand side by x open bracket s square plus 2 so when you multiply this is what we're going to have okay so as you have this on our left hand side x open bracket s square plus 2 is going to cancel x open bracket s square plus 2 okay and then on the right hand side on a we're going to x we're going to cancel x we're going to left with a and then s square plus 2 on b s plus c s square plus 2 is going to cancel s square plus 2 we're going to be left with bx plus c times x okay so finally after cancellation we are left with 9 s squared minus 3 x plus 8 equal to a upper bracket s square plus 2 closure bracket plus bx plus c in bracket x all right good you know we have one of our factors we're going to set one of them to zero so setting x equal to zero anywhere in a expression anywhere we see x we're going to equate it to zero okay so in doing so we're going to have nine open bracket zero squared minus three open bracket zero plus eight equal to a open bracket zero square plus two close bracket plus b open bracket zero plus c close bracket zero okay so in our b side hello in our b side we have zero multiplied by everything in the bracket going to give us zero okay so b and everything there is what zero so we'll be left with a values on the a so we have zero square zero square is zero zero plus two is two so two times a is two a okay now we have 9 times 0 squared is equal to 0. Minus 3 times 0 is 0. Then we have plus 8. Then we have 8 equal to 2a. We are looking for a. Let's divide both sides by 2. So we're going to have 8 divided by 2 equal to 2a divided by 2. So a is equal to 4. Hello. We found our a to be equal to 4. Now let's go. We're going to find the value for b and then the value for c. So to do so, we're going to use the method called comparing the coefficients. So in our expression, we are having 9x squared minus 3x plus 8 equal to a open bracket x squared my x squared plus 2 close bracket plus bx plus c close bracket x. We're going to expand this. So in expanding, we're going to have 9x squared minus 3x plus 8 equal to we we'll say a times x we're going to have a x squared a times 2 we're going to have 2a plus x times b is going to have b x squared then x times c we're going to have c x okay so here we're going to arrange this 
based on their number of degrees okay of their terms okay now let's go we're gonna have 9 x squared minus 3 x plus 8 equal to a x squared plus b x squared plus c x plus 2 a okay so in these are a x squared plus b x squared let's factor out x squared so when we factor out x squared we're gonna have a plus b let's put it in bracket then we have a plus b in bracket we have x squared plus we have c x plus 2 a so comparing the coefficient of the terms on the left hand side with the terms on the right hand side okay now x squared on the left hand side is having the coefficient 9 hello is having the coefficient what 9 and then x squared on the right hand side is having the coefficient a plus b okay let's compare them we're going to have a plus b equal to 9 okay and then the coefficient of x on the left hand side is equal to minus 3 and then the coefficient of x on the right hand side is equal to c comparing it we're going to, we're going to have c is equal to minus 3 and then we have the coefficient of x raised to power 0 in the left hand side is equal to 8 and then on the right hand side we have 2 okay that means we can say 2a is equal to 8 all right we have 2a so we can say 2a is equal to 8 all right good from here we have discovered that we know our a to be what 4 and then comparing the coefficient we discover that c is equal to minus 3 c is equal to minus 3 so that means we are going to find b so let's pick the first equation we have a plus b is equal to 9 but we have found our a to be 4 so we can simply say a plus b is equal to 9 where a is equal to 4 so we can say 4 plus b is equal to 9 so let's take 4 to the other side we have b is equal to 9 minus 4 so b is equal to 5 we have found our a to be 4 b to be 5 and then c to be minus 3 so therefore in replacing it we are going to have 9 x squared minus 3 x plus 8 all over x cube plus 2 x is equal to our a is 4 all over x plus our b is 5 x and then our c minus 3 all over x squared plus 2 all right so we have 4 all over x plus 5 x minus 3 all over x squared plus 2 all right thank you very much please keep watching keep practicing